Hi, in this video we're going to be showing you a quick and easy way to see what types of files are taking up space on your hard drive. So we're going to be using a free program called WizTree. So they have an installable version and they also have a portable version that you don't have to install. You just download and run it and that's the one I'm going to be using. So it's just a zip file. So once you extract it, you just run the executable, most likely the 64 for your 64-bit operating system. So once you run it, say yes to the UAC prompt. If you're not a local admin, you probably have to have an admin approve this for you. And then just pick your drive if you have more than one here. Click on scan. So you can see it's super quick. And so it kind of shows you a breakdown here, the folder, percent of the parent, uh, the size, and then what extensions are taking up what. And there's some other tabs here we'll go over. And then at the bottom here, they have this map which you might not find super useful because it's kind of hard to see what's going on here. You can kind of hover over each one and see what's taking up what space. So this memtest USB image file is a gig. We have the zip file in the download folder that's half a gig. Then you know these little tiny things are going to be super helpful. So if you don't want to see that, you could uncheck show a tree map and get yourself a little more space here. Okay, then of course you could expand your folder. So if you want to see what users are using what, so you can see here that Todd is using 99% of this user's folder, not 99% of the whole hard drive here. So the C drive is using 100%. Windows is using 48% of the C drive. Uh, program files is using 14%. And then down the line. And then of course you can expand it here. You can see that downloads is using 75% of Todd's folder. Then you can see that downloads is using most of the space here, of the taken space. You know, then documents and so on. And of course you could sort too. And then over on the right here, we have the extension list here. So DLL files are using 40%, 18.9 gigabytes, and there's 41,000 DLL files here. So of course you could sort by extension. So 23 zip files, uh, sort by size, which was the default there, allocated. You have the percent, you could sort by that too. Sort by number of files. So once again, DLL at the top, and then manifest and PNG and down the list like that. Okay, then we have a file view tab. So this is going to be file specific more than folder specific. So we have this memtest image again, the USB, the one gig file, taking up 2% of the drive, the uh, modified date, size. And of course, if you want to go up to here, you could display in megabytes. If you want to make things a little easier because otherwise if you have it in gigabytes you know this doesn't show you too much information point one compared to you know 92 89 and so on and then of course you could sort by name too if you want but that's not going to be super useful for all these uh, long file names here so you probably want to keep it at one of either percent of drive or total size here you know this is going to be the same if you sort uh, biggest first because this image file is using the most space and it's the biggest file and then of course you could do some search filters if you want to do that so if we do word documents for example you can see what we have going on here so our largest word file is 12.9 megabytes when it was last mo modified and of course, you could sort by name too if you want. You could, you know, match file names only. I'll clear that out. And then, of course, at the top here, you have your summary, total space, use space, free space. And then, of course, you could come to your options. You know, like I showed you, change the values, uh, filter your scan results, add a Windows Explorer context menu, check for updates, always run as administrator, show file types, show the tree map, which I turned off. Uh, change colors if you want, and then there's a tweak section here. So if you want to customize how the app works, you could come in here and change some of those settings. And then if you want to come up here, you could select a folder to scan, multiple folders, start a new instance. You could save the tree map image that we saw down there. There's some export options if you want to export file types to CSV file, and that type of thing. All right, so as you can see, it's a pretty simple program, but it's a quick way to find out what's going on with your computer here. So if you're running out of disk space and you don't know what types of files are taking up your space, you could just come in here real quick and do a scan and figure it out. 
All right, so I'll put a link in the description where you could download WizTree and you could try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.